Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how to put on water slides. Now when I do water slides, I always use warm water. Warm water actually gets them to release faster and makes them easier to put on. Um, I am using a white water slide decal paper today since I'm doing this on black. I did already put one thin coat of epoxy on my cup because it just makes it so they smooth on or they slide around easier. <laughs> and excuse my toddler today. I have him down here with me while I'm working. So you may hear him in the back a little bit. Now, what I do is I put my water slide in the paper or in the warm water and I let it sit for a se couple seconds. And when I'm doing that, I wet my paper towel. And I get my cup nice and wet where I'm gonna put my water slide. Now you want that to be able to slide off there nice and smooth or easy in one piece. See, one side's getting ready to come off, so I'm gonna soak it just a little bit longer. <laughs> they do tend to curl up when you first put them in the water, but you wanna take and put your hands in and push the sides down because if you curl up and if it curls up and you let it do that, it's gonna stick to itself and then you're just gonna ruin it. Now when I do these, peel them off nice and slow. this over some more so you can see better. Now when I do these, um, I do seal them very, very well. I do about um, six good coats of the clear. And I use the gloss. I've tried the matte before and the matte makes these matte and you don't get the gloss back. And I do about 10 coats and it makes them nice and thick so they don't rip or tear when you're putting them on. And I do about a coat every half hour. Sorry about the toddler this morning. <clears throat> now once you get it on, you're gonna have some air bubbles. I don't know if you can see them. Right in there, you can see an air bubble. And what I do when I get air bubbles, I take my wet paper towel or my damp paper towel and I just smooth them out. And you wanna take the paper towel and try to make it as smooth as possible. They do tend to slide around just a little bit when you're doing this, so you wanna be nice and slow and you don't want to push too hard now once I get that as smooth as I possibly can I take a dry paper towel and try to push out all the water Now because I'm doing this on a dark cup, it's best to use the white water slide because if you use clear, you're not gonna see the design. There's one. Now I'm gonna turn this around.
because this is a Halloween cup. See, it curls as soon as you try to put it in there. See that? You want to push it down so it's nice and flat. Surprising me this toddler reminds me very well behaved this morning. Normally he's throwing stuff while I'm trying to work. Wet that up again. Set my other one in there and get that one ready. Now I have a dehumidifier set up in my workspace that you can actually hear running right now. Um, that helps keep the moisture out of the air and it helps your epoxy cure better. Epoxy likes nice, nice dry. This one just does not want to release. Now I'll include a um, picture of the cup when it's finished. These are just, I didn't buy these water slide designs anywhere. I actually just found them on um, Google. This one should be ready. My water cooled down some while I was waiting to get stuff ready. <clears throat> but normally doing this with a nice hot water pulls, they just separate so much faster and so much easier. bubbles out that you can. Then I'm going to add one more. Yep, my water is definitely cooled. <clears throat> Now, if these aren't 100% ready to come off of here, they will rip if you force them. And there's my heat running. Awesome. Finish this up quickly. There. All set. Make sure to hit the subscribe button because I have a lot more fun stuff coming that I'm going to show you guys how to be doing.